Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 4. Remember, when we're checking for divisibility, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. We have four numbers that we're going to go through here and see if they are divisible by four based on the rule at the top of the screen. So what we need to do, we need to take a look at the number formed by the last two digits. And if that number is divisible by four, then the original number is divisible by four. Two zeros, this is included because zero is divisible by any number. So remember that. Zero is divisible by any number. Let's jump into number one and see what this rule means. So again, we need to take a look at the last two digits. So number one, we have 9,208. The last two digits are a zero and an eight. So that's an eight there. Is eight divisible by four? Can we do eight divided by four and get an answer without a remainder? Yes. So that means our original number of 9,208 is divisible by four as well. On to number two, 830,116. So let's take a look at the last two digits. And we have a 16. So is 16 divisible by four? Can we divide 16 by four and get an answer without a remainder? Yes, therefore our original number 830,116 is divisible by four as well. Number three, we have 1,057,400. Last two digits, we have zero and zero, which is just zero. So remember, zero is divisible by any number, therefore divisible by four, and that means 1,057,400 is divisible by four as well. And lastly, number four, we have 4,664,017. The last two digits, we have 17 here. Now 17 is not divisible by four, therefore 4,664,017 is not divisible by four either. So this one is a no. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rule for four. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.